chickweed, cleavers, which are used for colds as well, and, high, and dandelion root to purify the blood, and hydrangea to get rid of this kind of condition, and nettle for the skin, uh, basically skin type things. This is sciatica, a nerve pain, that big nerve in your thigh. Uh, we use the burdock for that and tansy. Smallpox is a skin disease, so we use things that stimulate the liver to help the liver produce the, the bile, the substance to break down the waste, so we go to yarrow. We use red sage, we use raspberry leaves. To relieve the itching, mostly uh, lemon juice is applied to that. In the old days, it was tobacco. Before that, people would take a bath in baking soda to relieve itching. Scarlet fevers, things that reduce the fever again is the pleurisy root, uh, the cat's claw, the fever few. Cleavers is good for the respiratory system. Your thyroid gland, we use the glandular things like poke root. So I would say poke root and echinacea would be good for the thyroid gland. Testes, the testicle problems, we use the saw palmetto berries. Remember that, saw palmetto berries and posium. Always use that combination. You can combine that with mullein or chickweed. Typhoid fever, fevers, we always use anti-inflammatory. Golden seal is one, cast is another, fever few is another. Itis, T-I-S, inflammation, cat's claw, fever few for the inflammation again, along golden seal also. And echinacea is good for glands, so we, it's inflammation of the gland, we use echinacea with cat's claw or fever few. And golden seal is always good as a blood purifier. Toothache, we usually use the uh, sassafras oil or clove oil, put it right on the tooth. Clove oil would be the most popular one. Tumors, we're into using these days, we use a lot of thusia and sanical. That's sanical and thusia. It's good for tumors and swelling of the glands, and swellings inside the tissue. So chickweed and colt's foot are good for that. And as I mentioned before, Enthusias, Sanical, those type herbs. Sorrel is another one that's good for that. And of course, tuberculosis, congestion, this type of cold, we treat it the same way with skunk cabbage. Antiseptic type herb like myrrh, comfrey is good for cold. So we're using comfrey and skunk cabbage. Or comfrey and burdock root. Or comfrey, burdock root, colt's foot. Colt's foot's good for cold, so is whorehound, so is elecampane. So we say, let's use some elecampane. Let's use some uh, golden seal and comfrey and treat the tuberculosis that way. We mentioned the tobacco habit, the calamus, the magnolia, and I told you about the quassia. That's very popular for that. People get stressed out when they have a habit. That's why they have the skull cap there and the peppermint and the catnip and the valerian to calm the person down. You get rather stressed when you're trying to break a habit. Now, in case for those who want to drop the milk sages, the, the tea that will dry it up. The camphor you can apply to the blank breast and dried up as well. Typhus, pleurisy, culvers root, bone set, that's getting rid of that mucus, congestion. You just want one out all around tonic herbs in the Calo Colombo. Uh, basically, you go to your spice cabinet again and get yourself some coriander, marjoram, that sort of thing for the tonics. Make yourself a nice tonic tea and add those to red clover. And that'll be a good tonic. For prolapsed uterus, that means the uterus is falling out of its position. You can use this for prolapsed uterus, prolapsed colon. We use the witch hazel with the astringent, the white oak bark with the astringent. So we use witch hazel and white oak bark. Combine that with a female type herb, um, red raspberry. Now scalding urine, again, we're back to the uh, peach leaves is good for that. And squabine and white willow relieve that kind of discomfort. Uchu, kubi, juniper berries, the diuretic herbs are good. Ulcers, we're trying to heal that condition. So the popular one for ulcers would be uh, olive vera juice and uh, comfrey, actually. But all these herbs are good, but olive vera juice would be good to drink, and comfrey would be good, and chickweed. So I would just say the comfrey, if you have to lie on two things, the comfrey and golden seal. Varicose veins is waste in the veins, and we're trying to get it out, so you may want to use some white oak bark, and witch hazel, which are astringents, to apply on the veins topically. But to get rid of that waste, you gotta go back to the diet and back to maybe some horse tail combined with a bayberry bark. Vaginal douche. Some people use the fennel and the marshmallow, but the very popular ones for a vaginal douche would be the marshmallow and probably the uva ursi. But they also